Peggy 18. So with Reckoning, what I wanted to do was really bring the hardcore action moment-to-moment -moment button presses and choices that players have with an action game or a fighting game into the RPG stance. So you're not looking so much at DPS and like math over time, you're looking at which attacks I'm using over time and how to defend them properly and where I am in relation to each enemy. That's the thing we play RPGs. You go, you do the RPG element, but you're like, oh man, I gotta go fight this in this dungeon. This is gonna be boring. You got the like slow, er, and that's my combat. You're not, you're not looking forward to fighting, but you're looking forward to the story because it's so interesting. We really wanted to bring the RPG gamer a little bit more to the action side. If we had cool, hardcore stuff for the, for the hardcore action gamer to like get into and understand, that's cool, but we really wanted to be bringing all that fun to the RPG gamers. The key to a good animation is strong poses. I feel like if you look at our combat, and hopefully when you freeze a frame, if you did, that you have a strong pose there. And like it's dynamic, and you can tell exactly where the swing is coming from, how heavy the weapon is, and basically how powerful the player really is. I wanted to be like badass, strong, raw power, no soft type of thing, no, no whimsical thing. It's all just hitting hard, you know, mess you up, clear the room type of action. We tailored our poses and our animation to the control. Like we really try to push that as far as we possibly can. Everything about every button press is that there's pregnant action to it. Uh, Todd McFarlane really speaks well to it. Young and his team are really all about seeing each pose, each pose being strong, and then my job is to make it feel like I did that with that button press. It wasn't anybody else, that was me. So there's only one way to do an action RPG in the style that we're doing, uh, and that's to sit the animators and designers side by side. That was like the key of of making all of, all of this possible. Designers have their own mind of how things need to be for damage and hit reacts and timing, and animators have their own mind for how to make it look good and how to make it look like it has proper weight. It's a lot of back and forth. Sometimes, you know, we're like, all right, it's not gonna look the best, but it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna feel good. And designers like, okay, fine. You know, you can have more frames. It's gonna be a little slower, probably, but it's gonna look good. You see it in game, all the fluidity of the player's moves and the NPCs and how the MP enemies work with the player and all everything to the sync actions, to the stealth kills, to the face shift kills, how everything transitions so smoothly. It's a direct result of us sitting together and impl implementing all this stuff together. I'm a big believer in telling the animators, get off your seat act it out because you gotta really feel it inside before you can kind of like put it on the screen, you know? And I just go crazy. It's hard to describe, but like as an animator, you wanna make it as believable as possible. And you gotta believe it first, I wanna say, before you can kind of make other people believe it. Like get into the essence of just you just just grabbing on your strength from it, from the inner, your inner strength, I should say, and just doing what you feel. No, no like training involved, just just, just hail Mary with these weapons and see what you can come up with. We want to make it believable, but at the same time, we want to make it awesome. Where like, you're like, wow, I know that's impossible, but I want to do that. So in Reckoning, what we've done is we've built a combo system that lets the player sort of build out the combos in a way they see fit. But it's built to be balanced also as a sense of uh, risk and reward. So at the very bottom level, you have your basic attacks. And these are the first hits of your combo chain. So if you think about it with your daggers, daggers is a six hit chain. So the first five hits are your basic attacks. You can always cancel those basic attacks into dodge or a block at any time you want. You can also cancel up to the higher levels for the magic attacks. The next level is your special attacks. These are the last hits of a chain or maybe uh, unlocked special, like you might have a attack out of dodge or uh, attack out of block. What these are going to do, they're going to apply status effects, they're going to do a lot more damage, but you're not able to cancel into defense like with the block or dodge out of them. But you can always cancel up one level into your magic abilities. From your magic abilities, you really committed to that move. So once you're using magic, you've paid a mana cost, but you're committed to that move. If you're going to get hit afterward, you might get hit. And it's going to take a while before you can block, cancel, or dodge, cancel, or even attack again out of it. 
So what we've done is built that system where you start with the low and you can kind of always move up the chain. And now you can start working in things like launching attacks and then you can start building combos out of it. You might get to the end of your very last hit and you've hit him with a, a strong finisher, but you always know you can do a magic attack to sort of continue the chain or something. And it's really all about creating this language that the player can then build combos off of. <laughs> When a new player comes to our game, uh, I really do want him to see that it's an RPG. It's got all these action elements and we've given them all these choices to sort of shape the way that they play their character and equip their character's gear and the abilities that they use. But really what I want them to discover in our game is how to express themselves in combat. You can go into playing Reckoning without memorizing anything, you know, and you can like, like it's more just a feel and a timing thing, which anybody can pick up easily. For me, a good game is a fun game. You know, a game that you want to keep playing, and like a game that you don't mind watching the animation. You know, anybody can do like combinations. You know, like like like, uh, like I guess if you get good enough, you can do like a 10, 15 hit combo. But I mean, but even that said, it's that's easy to do. It's, it's so easy. You know, so you just pick it up and just mess around, have fun with it, and next thing you know, you'll be kicking all kinds of ass. In any other game, they're always gonna have the standard four attacks that they use, and that's what makes them a warrior. But in our game, I feel there's so many variations on how you can actually play that out as a warrior, whether you're using dodge or teleport or blocks or parry or which combinations of weapons that you're actually using and magic abilities, that it really does become sort of an expression of you. And it's just so much fun just to walk through our own building here at Big Huge and just see each player playing in their own way and in combinations that I never thought would be possible, but they work, and it's just sort of each, how each person just represents themselves. So really what I want to see is just that self-expression. I'm really looking forward just to seeing videos of like combos or ways like people have found to defeat enemies, just using the tools that we've given them.